Hello friends, welcome to Prismatis online class. In our today's class, we are going to look at what? Dimensional analysis. Okay, question on the board say, show that the famous Einstein equation E equals to uh, MC square is a dimensionally is dimensionally consistent. Okay. Solution. Let's solve. Solution. So before solving this a dimensionally consistent, you need to know, you need to solve the dimension of the left hand side. Keep your answer. And solve the dimension of the what? The right hand side. And keep your answer. If the dimension of the left hand side is equal to the dimension of the what? Right hand side. You can now conclude that the equation is what? Dimensionally consistent. But if it is not equal, you now conclude, your conclusion will be that the equation is not what? Dimensionally consistent. Or the equation is dimensionally inconsistent. Did you get it right? So you first of all solve the left hand side. Keep your answer, solve the right hand side, dimension of right answer, and combine your answer together and check whether you are going to get the same uh, uh the same answer. Thanks. Okay. Now, solution. Let's look at left hand side. Let's solve for the left hand side. And left hand side is what the dimension of what energy. And what is energy? Energy is defined as what? Force multiplied by distance. What is energy? Energy is defined as what? A force what? The product of force and what? It's what? Distance. Okay. Now, let's go. So, this is the same thing as... And force itself is the same thing as what? MA. MA. That is mass times acceleration. Multiplied by what? D. Now, recall... Recall that the dimension of mass is equal to m. Dimension of acceleration is equal to L t raised to power minus 2 from our previous class. That is acceleration. Okay. Now, dimension of distance is equal to what? L from our previous class. So that is it. Now, let's continue now. Now, substitute it here. Energy Dimension of energy. Dimension of energy is now equal to what? Mass. Dimension of what? Dimension of mass multiplied by dimension of what? Uh, acceleration. T raised to power minus 2. Multiplied by what? Dimension of what? L. Close it. Now, dimension of energy is equal to what? Mass. L times L will give us L square times T raised to the power minus 2. So that is what the dimension of energy. So call it this in equation 1. Equation 1. So now let's look at the right hand side, which is what? For right hand side. Now what do we have? We have M c square that is dimension of m c square is equal to what dimension of m multiplied by dimension of what uh uh dimension of what velocity of light raised to power two now what do we do we have it as dimension of what m into what dimension of velocity of what light which is what l t raised to power minus minus one close it into power what two. Now let's continue here. Dimension of mc square is equal to what dimension of m into what l by a lot of indices two go to this multiply by l, l power one will give us l power two two go to what l power minus minus one minus 1 l power t raised to power minus 1 will give us t raised to power minus 2 now and that is t so hence we have that the dimension of this is equal to m raised to power 1 l raised to power 
2 t raised to the power minus 2 so call it what equation equation 2 okay having done that you can going through this going through this you can agree with me that that equation equation 1 is equal to equation 2 so that is that the left hand side is equal to what right hand side so what do we mean so what is our equation one equation one is dimension of m raised to power two t raised to power minus minus uh, t raised to power minus two is equal to what dimension of what m raised to power one m raised to power one n raised to power two t raised to power minus two Notice it that is proof hence you can say hence that e equals to mc square is dimensionally dimensionally what consistent so going through this that is t after this one you solve and get to equation one you will solve for the right hand side finally you get this now we equate them together and see that what is here you will now observe that what is in the left hand side is equal to the what is in what in right hand side i hope you are following okay and that is it finally you can say hence the existing equation is dimensionally consistent or you can say the existing equation is dimensionally cor uh, correct so if assume that this is not equal to this, you cannot say, hence, the existing equation is dimensionally inconsistent. And that is how to do, to do it. Thanks and God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prismatis Online Class. And follow me on Facebook, the same platform, Prismatis Online Class. Prismatis Online Class. Please like, share, and comment. Bye.